welcome to Watercolor by Scarlet. So I want to go through a little bit of my process, my art uh, art creating process. Um, I've gone ahead and normally I use my iPad or my iPhone or something, but I went ahead and I actually printed this. I was at a kiosk and there was a, I was at a mall, <laughs> which never happens, and there was, um, there was a printer, print machine, like a kiosk thing, and I thought, why not? So I went ahead and printed it out and it's been wonderful because I've been just putting this little guy here and sticking it on here and then I close my book and off I go and as soon as I want to work on this piece the reference photo for the piece is here. Now I know the reference photo is also on my phone. My phone turns off and it has a battery issue. I mean it uses a battery and I'd have to plug it in and etc. So having this is just so cool. I really like it. I think I'm going to get uh, get into printing um, my reference photos and then attaching them to the sketches that go with them. So this is the flow that I've been working on. Um, this is the reference photo, obviously I just said that. Um, what I started with was a basic composition. Now this composition is not quite exact to this one, but it is very similar. And I have the seeds in here too, as there are in here. These are little bottles of seeds. And I can show you a few of the bottles here. So this is what the bottles actually look like. These are flock seeds and these are hollyhock seeds. Um, and I took this photo for my gardening channel for the cover shot of one of the videos where I was talking about saving seeds and actually talking about saving these types of seeds that are in these bottles. Um, and I thought it would be fun. Um, I just, I love the image. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw it or paint it. So what I did first was sketch it out roughly as you can see here. Then I wanted an idea of the color tones. So without putting too much time or, or energy into the details, um, I wanted to get a feel for the colors. So I painted this and I was after the, not really the finer detail, but the shapes, you know? So this has a few seeds, this has a few seeds. Do the highlights work? Should the highlights, should the picture, should the seeds be shown through the highlights or not? Um, how strong are they going to be? And I just did this really quickly. So I thought, okay, I don't really like it. So I went ahead and I did another one. This one is much more accurate. Um, it's really hard to see because these are blown out and uh, they're hard to capture on a camera. But, and here comes Kitty. Now in this one, I concentrated obviously mostly on the top and getting the top right because what I had done here was just terrible. These are not, this is not going to work. Now, this might work if it's overwhelmingly huge and all of the little bits and pieces, all of the little bottles look like that and there's so many, it would still have a, a, a similar impact. But if I take the time to really make them much more realistic, I realize this is not hyper realism, but it's still truer to its original form. Um, Kitty, you're right in the way, sweetie. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and did this, and I think this would look a lot better. Then, in order, well, one, I got pretty sick of it. This was on Christmas uh, Boxing Day. I worked on this one, and I was getting really sick of it, but I wanted to master these highlights and shadows, and I wanted to really concentrate on that. So, um, Christmas, Christmas Eve Boxing Day, um, while I was at my brother's at our big family gathering, which is where I do most of my live, or where I do all of my live tutorials, um, I worked on this. Now, luckily you guys can't really see, but the paper is completely destroyed. Uh, one, because my hand went everywhere, but mostly because I, I erased it so many times. Um, my initial, now if you go to Patreon, you can see down below, um, if you're watching this on Patreon, you can see down below that um, I put up the original sketch I first did and then I had altered it so many times it just didn't look anything like this. The original I think is much shorter and it's fatter and my brother had said said to me, oh, where is the actual bottle? Here it is. Um, he said that what I had done, well there's liquid in here so it's hard to show you, but he said that I had the top more facing this way but the bottom facing this way. So I had taken the two pieces and kind of jackknife them in the opposite directions. Now, I think, at least from where I'm standing, I think this one looks pretty good. It took me all evening to get this right. Um, and in the end, 
I was really, really getting frustrated. But you know what? It looks really good. I'm quite happy with the way it looks now. It almost looks like a salt shaker. Um, and what I was really going for are the highlights and the shadows and kind of getting that intricate detail. Now, it is pretty opaque in there because there's something in there. So I didn't get the 3D form for the other side if, as though it was see-through because then you would see more of what's going on inside because it's just all liquid. So these highlights are like the glare on the on the, um, the glass, whereas this is the shadowy dark parts of the liquid inside, etc., or how the highlights and the shadows are interacting. This rim was way down here for a while. It went like this, and then I moved it up, and I moved it down, and this rim was way over here, and I moved it up, and this one was up there, and I moved it down. So it was a lot. So it was an awful lot of putting on the paint, picking it up, telling someone, hey, can you look at this? And them going, yep, nope, still wrong. <laughs> uh, which was, I think my brother super enjoyed telling me how terrible my work was for a few hours. And even in the end, he looked at it for a while and he's like, hmm, it's better. Yeah, it's better. It, it, maybe. It's okay. It can pass. It can pass. And I was like, really? Is it good or not? Well, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And I was like, okay. Screw off, buddy. <laughs> Go away. I'm done with you. Because <laughs> at that point, I put it somewhere I thought it was really good. Now, what I would do, and I don't have one with me, but what I what I would what I should have done is hold it in front of a mirror. If you ever have that problem where you just can't see what's wrong with your work, hold it. Um, turn it around, hold it against a mirror, look into the mirror, and because the reflection in the mirror is going to be backwards, you will have a completely different uh, feeling for what you're looking at. It will look like a whole new piece. It's really amazing. I mean, it's mind-boggling how amazing that is and how well it works, but it really, really does work. Um, but that is like my biggest tip when you're trying to figure something out and you're just like, you just don't know what's what's right and what's wrong. It, you know, you've been working out too long and you don't have the time to put it down because it's due the next day or you want to move on with the project or whatever. So that's as far as I've gotten on this project, I believe. Um, I think, wait, no, also in here, I did do another sketch somewhere. I'm running out of paper in the sketchbook. Ah, okay, so I did do another one here. This is another sketch to get this one to be a little better. Before I painted this, I went ahead and sketched this. Yeah, so that's as far as I am with this project. Um, I will continue, obviously I'm going to continue to work on it, and as I build it, it's going to end up in more and more posts. I'll probably come back to this post and add more things in the bottom, and then I'll just click the button. This is notify the, my patrons when I make a change, because this post is going to get really, really long. I'm also going to link other tutorials I've already done, so when I'm doing a part, and you'll see this more and more in my in my videos, um, or in my posts, that when I'm working on something, I'll break it down to photos, but then underneath I'll say, check out this tutorial for the exact explanation on how to do this technique, not necessarily in this particular painting, but a different painting, but the same technique, so that I don't have to re-record all my tutorials. Um, for each post, but I can use stuff I've already done and redirect you to a class that's already out there, uh, which I think is awesome. And not because I'm lazy, because I have more than enough to do anyway, and I'm making tons of these, um, but because it means that you can get more information than, than what I can provide in a text, right? Because there's actually a tutorial. Now, unfortunately, right now, Patreon doesn't allow me to post like the actual thumbnail of all the videos, which is what I would like to do. I'd like to do a picture, some text, and then a, a, the, the actual thumbnail so you know what you're going to click on. It doesn't do that. So where it says, click here for the tutorial related to this image or the tutorial related to the technique I'm showing in this image, just go ahead and click that. And um, I have sent many requests to Patreon in hopes that they will fix this problem and make it so that I can make the post a little more interesting um, by adding all those other things in there. But so far, um, <laughs> they haven't. That being said, they do change things all the time, so it's a, there's a really good chance that in the future I'll be able to put more things into a post, and I'm looking forward to doing that. But for now, just click on those little links, which will be blue, or the actual, the entire um, link, the whole written out address will be below that too. So if you can't click on it, it doesn't work, just copy and paste it and it'll take you to that exact part. 
um, that I think would be relevant to what we're talking about. Yeah, so that's my flow for right now for creating this piece. And I really feel like this is important because it's so easy to just paint something and, easy and quickly be, be, be done with it. But when you're painting something like this where it's brand new, I've never painted, other than what I'm doing right here, I've never painted a seed bottle. Um, I don't typically do something this busy and I don't want to go into it blind and spend a lot of time and effort working on all these little bottles and all these little details and then realize that you know each one of them the texture or the the detailing isn't enough and so the whole thing kind of flopped or realize that my shadows or my highlights are kind of crap I would rather take my time and do this kind of thing and I'm going to do more of these so this where I did a few I'm going to do that obviously redone so it's well detailed and I'll do a whole section so I'll take one little page I'll put them all in here there'll be a whole bunch together and I'll work on that and I'll add the seeds so in other words it's like breaking this big picture down into mini pictures and just kind of tackling those mini pictures and then later taking those mini pictures as like okay I've studied that I know what I'm doing and putting them all together um, into another picture so when I'm finished there'll be lots of different prep works so are lots of different pre-stages to make up a big picture and that's really how I do any big picture I'm doing um, it's it's something I think it's easy to say well that's too much work but honestly you know as a child we tend to paint one thing we tend to draw one thing so I had a, a whale phase I never did the horse thing but I had a whale phase where I was painting um, killer whales for a long, long time. I went somewhere and I saw them, and I, I went to the ocean out west and I saw some whales, and um, and I painted the rocks and the hills and the uh, California mountains and stuff because I was there. And so for years after that, I was always coming home and painting these rock scenes. In fact, I think actually in this book, I have a few. Let me just find them for you guys because that's really funny. Um, some of these are a little Viking-ish, but not that, not that. Okay, there's a cat under here, so see how long she lets me put the paper on her. Um, so doing these kinds of scenes, I would just paint or draw, I draw these scenes forever where the water met the horizon. And I must have done thousands and thousands of these for years. Or things like this, this is more California-ish where you've got the ocean in the background and the, the hills and some rocks off in the distance and this would be a beach here in the front. And um, yeah, I did that forever. In other words, I was studying, I was, I was constantly doing these preliminary rough sketches with the the non-intent because I didn't know what I was doing but with the um, you know the objective of eventually getting better so that's how our minds used to work but now we get older and we think no 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 we, we don't need to do the million sketches we should just be able to see something and draw it and actually as children you know if we want to learn how to drive a ride a bike we get on the bike and we fall off and we get on again so that's what I'm doing here, is anytime I'm learning a new subject, um, I've got a whole bunch now for the kitty, anytime I'm learning a new subject, I start drawing that subject and just break it down and draw all the bits and pieces. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, it's really easy to watch YouTube videos and be overwhelmed by how quickly people can draw and how well they can paint and how fast someone can throw something together and to feel like I can't do it that quick, therefore I can never do it. But all of us, all of um, the artists that you're watching, we've all, this is going to be um, a little succulent. Um, we've all worked, we've all put in the hours, we've all put in the time, we all know what we're doing. And um, yeah, and I just really wanna say like, don't give up, just keep going because you're gonna be fine. And all you need to do is, uh, is put in the time. You know, talent is really about perseverance and time, committing yourself to a thing. So that's what I have to say about that. These are some bottles. I actually did these bottles in preliminary work for some of these because but they didn't. That was just for fun. Um, but again, I was just getting like the shapes and the highlights of things. This is not exactly the bottle for this at all, but it's kind of along that line. And then we're back to uh, the one we're actually talking about. Um, it isn't that 
complicated. It really isn't. The difference between these lids being simple and these lids being more complicated is simply taking the time to add in the finer details and maybe even to measure, like to really look at your bottle and see, is this line going down or is it going straight across? Here I drew them all going pretty much straight across, but in reality, these lines were slanted and there was actually bumps on the edges, whereas here I just drew them as straight bumps or almost very straight bumps. And then at the base here, I didn't put in the curl because meh, I was kind of doing it from a picture, which was this big. So when I got out the real subject, all of a sudden I realized, all oh, right, this little lip here requires a lot more detail. It's an actual lip. It actually curves over and it pulls up on all sides. And so I started doing that. And then I also did the bottoms mostly flat and I realized, no, there's a little indent in the bottom. So taking the time to really study your subject is going to make such a difference to your work. Uh, please put a comment below. Let me know what you are doing to uh, to uh, better your work and how you're trying to work through projects that you're you know trying to improve or trying to get done and and tell me you know this kind of thing like do you do this do you do roughs that you find look terrible and then you try to do them again and and can you see the difference now this is not a learning experience where I say one day my art was like this and the next day it was like this this is a laziness experience so this day I spent a few hours working on this and doing the sketches and really studying it and at the same time the day before I put this together and spent no time on it whatsoever so that's what happened this became you know, these top pieces are just lazy, whereas I was concentrating on something else. But yeah, let me know what your flow is. Let me know uh, how you tackle a project. I'm really, really interested to know. And also, if you have any issues with tackling projects that you'd like me to explain a little bit more. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodaloo.